Okay, so I'm just going to run through how to set up a Word template. This is Office 2011, but it'll be similar uh, on any other version. Um, so first thing you want to do is just set your um, font styles that they're going to for your default. So if you just right click on them and modify. So here we're going to set them to Times New Roman, size 12, uh, justified writing style, uh, one and a half spacing and you just want to uh, add the template then and you want to do the same then with your heading 1, 2 and 3 uh, so just going to the heading there you just set that to size 14 and um, bold left alignment and single uh, spaced and then again just add it to template and we can do that for, for the others then as well second thing we'll do is just set up our uh, cover sheet so we'll just insert an image. In this case, I'll just use the DCU logo, and then just add some some text underneath. Then we'll just insert a section break, and we'll do it for the next page. And I'll explain why you want to do that. Just move into page numbers. So here what we'll do is we'll just uh, add our assignment submission sheet. So I already have that in the document, so I'll just copy and paste that in. And then again we'll just go on to we'll just click through onto our next page. This page here is going to be for our table of contents and then the next page then is where we'll actually start writing um, on the report so we'll put another section break in um, so you'll see now that the cursor is here we're on section 3 this is section 2 and our cover sheet is section 1 so if you just put introduction and make that a Heading one. So this is where we'll, we'll start writing, and then this would be for our table of contents. So we just go to document elements, and then just insert our table of contents. So you'll see that page numbers are wrong here, um, but we're just going to fix that now. So first thing we're going to do is just go to page numbers. Uh, we don't want to show a page number on the cover sheet, so for the moment we'll turn that off. So you'll see that's still wrong now because we're still in page two. So what we want is for the first page of our report where the introduction is to be page number one, and then we can do um, we can do letters then for for the for the pretext. So if we click into section two, so you'll see we're in section two down here, and go back into page number. We do want to show it on the first page because we want we want a number here, but. We want to start it at 1 and just change that there. So now you'll see we have the first page and the cover sheet sorted. And that's correct. Now this is just showing the wrong number. That should, that should, we want that to show 1. So again, click into the third section, show section 3 down here, go to your page number. Again, you do want to show it on, on the first page. But this time you want to start it at number one. And just click OK. So now you can see that that's set to, to one. So if you just update by clicking up here and update the entire table. Now we have the correct numbers. So that's the basics of just setting up your template then. Um, and you can just use your, your normal uh, text then entry here. So what you want to do is file, save as, and then instead of saving it as uh, a Word document, you want to save it as a Word template document. So you'll see what it does is it brings you then to your templates folder. Mm -hmm. And you can just save that as um, wh whatever you want to call it there. Um, and then just hit save. So once that's done then, you open a new file 
from your templates. If you go into my templates, you'll see your new template that you've just done. So that's the one that I've just done there. Um, and it should save you a bit of time every time you write a report.